Yo guys, welcome to yet another stream of Horizon Forbidden West. So this is the part 14 of the series. So yeah, we're going to do some side quests and let's go. Let's go, potato. Let's go. Sabi na ko. Let's go. I'm going, Ravika. You can't. What? What's going on here? You're her. The one from the embassy. Please. You have to go after my father. He's going to get himself killed in the stand of the Sentinels. The forest beyond the village. Everyone else seems to have forgotten that we don't abandon our own. Venera? If you're gonna drag the Outlander into this, at least tell her the whole story. Garoka gave her that stab wound. It was an accident. How did your father accidentally stab you? For a while now. He's been sneaking out of the village to hunt alone in the stand. Sometimes he's gone for days. So this time, I followed him to his hunting camp. Tried to convince him to come home. Words led to fists. And somewhere in the middle of it all... His knife. He was already gone when I fell. You would have bled to death had I not come looking for you. It doesn't make any sense. The way he looked at me... It was like I was a stranger. Perhaps it's time to recognize... He's fine! He has to be. I can't make any promises, but I'll find him if I can. At least to see if he's all right. Where's his hunting camp? Southeast of here. Thank you. Glad that's settled. Now you need to rest. Fast travel. Camp. This must be where Fenira confronted her father. I might be able to pick up his trail with my focus. A jar of oil knocked over. Maybe when Garoka and Fenira were fighting. Some of the oil might have gotten on Garoka. Looks like there's a trail I can follow. Let's see where this leads. Strider. And a lot of traps. I must be Garoka. I better help him. Let's see what you've got. Uh. 
Thanks for the assist, Hunter. Come. Let's speak. You fight like you're a Tanakh, but you're not one of us. State your name, Outlander. I'm Aloy. You must be Garoka. Fenira asked me to find you. She's back in the village. She's recovering from a wound from your fight. Then she's in good hands. Come. We have to get moving. There's a squad deeper in the forest. They're about to walk into an ambush. By who? Rebels? That's what you want to call them. Spineless scabs. All the same, I could use your spear. What do you say? Fine. Where is the squad? This way. We'll make faster time if we cut through the Sentinels. How do you know about the attack? We've been watching enemy movements in the mountain pass. They've been trying to take our territory for years. This is just their latest attempt. Years? Rakala's rebellion isn't that old. Something's off here. to get to the squad. Garoka's definitely not all there. This isn't looking good. there. J-Squad, we're... What? No! It's an old memorial for fallen soldiers. I think we're a lot more than too late. This makes no sense. Garoka. Who are you, Outlander? How do you know my name? I'm Aloy. Fenira asked me to find you. I'm guessing you don't remember what happened. I went away again, didn't I? Why are we here? You told me there was a squad. I was about to be attacked. This is where it happened, isn't it? A long time ago. Yes. My squad. The Sky Clan ambushed us, slaughtered them all. It would have been. 30 years ago now. Fenira thinks you've been sneaking off into the forest to hunt. You've been coming back here. There's no easy way to say this, Garoka. She's hurt. Bad. 
She tried to stop you from leaving. I heard her? But I would never... No! Everything is... a fog. I feel like I've been wandering through it. Lost. My blade unfamiliar in my hand. And when it finally clears, I can't remember what I was doing or why. I'm always just... alone in the forest. How long has it been like this? This fog? Weeks. Months, maybe. At first I thought it was a passing thing. Like forgetting after a knock on the head. Then names and faces became... difficult. And I started finding myself in the forest. Unsure how I got there. Why haven't you told Fenira? What was I supposed to say? That I'm unraveling? Like a frayed, weak rope? No! But look where that's gotten you. She has no idea why you hurt her. So the Sky Clan ambushed your squad a long time ago? We were almost through with our patrol. About to head back to the village when they swarmed us. I alone survived. When my wounds scarred, I returned here and built a memorial where my comrades fell. And then I struck down twice as many of their soldiers in retribution. Such were the clan wars. Earlier, you said the enemy had been trying to take the Lowland territory for years. I guess that was during the clan wars? Before Hikaru became our chief, our clans were constantly at war. We fought over every inch of this forest. The ruined village nearby is a remnant of those days. No matter how many soldiers fell, there was always another vendetta to pursue. They say that's why the wood of the Sentinels runs red. For the generations of blood spilled. We should head back to the village. Wait. The memorial. It's missing a piece there. A marker of metal, made from the blades of my fallen comrades. Where is it? It has to be around here somewhere. I have to find it. I know it's... I know it's here. Hey, calm down. Let me take a look. Okay. Tracks. Leading away from the memorial. Lead the way. Clamber jaws. They might have scrapped the marker. On your lead. More clamor joy. Find the marker. Might be in one of the Clamberjaw scrap piles. I'll stand watch in case more machines show up. No marker here. I better check another scrap pile. Here. I better check another spirit pile.
the marker. Now to give this back to Kuroka. Over here, Aloy. Did you find it? Here. I think this is the missing marker. Yes, that's it. I'll return it to the memorial. You go on ahead. I want to spend some time to remember my comrades. Are you sure? I'll be fine. The fog is gone for now. All right. I'll head back to the village and let Fenira know you're okay. Thank you, Eli. Well, at least I can tell Fenira why Garoka's been running off. Back to Tide's Reach, then. You're back. But where's my father? It's okay. I found him. He's not deranged, Fenira. He's been forgetting things more and more. He thought he was still in the clan wars, that he could save his squad from an ambush. When we got to the memorial, he came back to the present. Said so it's like he's been lost in a fog. Wait. I've heard of something similar, a rare occurrence among chaplains. Their memory fades with the long years. Garuka's not a chaplain, but he is the age of one. Before Hikaru became chief, few of us would live to be so old. So that's why. Oh, thank the Ten. If he was found to be insane, then by rights he'd be put to death. What? No, he's just getting old. He needs care, not a death sentence. Pretty sure the rest of the village sees that as one and the same. But we'll keep a close eye on him. Speaking of, where is he now? Here. Oh, little spear. I... I'm so sorry. It's alright, Father. You're home safe. And I understand now. When the fog comes, I'll hold your hand tight and remember for you. You don't have to be afraid. Thank you for your help. Please, accept this. Your deeds here, what you've done for Fenira, will always, always be remembered. Thank you, Aloy. Aloy? Yes, Aloy.
Mr. to knock for keeping watch for. My strength is yours. Never thought I'd be waiting for an outlet. Who are these raiders you're talking about? Some of Regala's supporters were hunted down near here. Most fought to the death, but one group had other ideas. They escaped pursuit and raided Tide's Reach. They were last seen out to sea to the west. The raiders escaped out to sea? We think that's why they raided the settlement. They built a, a flat boat. Bits of wood tied together. A uh, raft? I wouldn't want to go to sea on one. But it seems that was the raiders' plan. Slaughter our sleeping guards, steal supplies, and sail straight west. Are you worried they might come back? The supplies they stole won't last forever, and they were prepared to gut our guards to get them. People here want justice. That won't happen until those fugitives are found. If the raiders went out to sea... I'm not sure how I could follow them. Unless they got away. For now. See me? Those curves of metal must be the arches Abaddon mentioned. Della should be waiting for me there. Scraps. Pull from the 
arches, most likely. Boomer's handiwork? That's my bet, but no sign of Boomer. Any idea why she'd be out this way? Probably just wanted to get as far away from me as possible. <laughs> During the fight, I snapped at her. Yeah, I think for the like. Said some things I shouldn't have. Everyone makes mistakes. You know, back in the claim, she'd get into all kinds of trouble. Dad always said it was my job to look out for her. We'll find her, Della. Let me look around for some tracks. There. Tracks. Looks like they lead out into the desert. What were you thinking, Boomer? Do you have any siblings, Red? No. Lucky you. It's just... Sometimes she can really greet your gears. And sometimes... Most times... I have no idea what's tinkering in that head of hers. But she's all I've got. I just hope we can find her. We will. Tracks end here, but looks like Boomer set out some traps around the ruin. Leave it to Boomer to litter the area with explosives. But where is she? If we get rid of the machines, maybe we'll find out. Now, the bell is not the only one who can ride a claw strider. to steal so the rumors you can tame them are true ah! rumors should have seen that one coming hold on let me catch you up Take a look in the ruins. Maybe we can figure out where she went. I bet a cook can do something with this.
small cow. Oh no. I know that hammer. This is Boomer's favorite hammer. She always makes a fuss whenever she misplaces it. She'd never leave it behind. Maybe she had to leave in a hurry when the machines moved in. Or something worse happened. Hey, we don't know that. Let's look around. She might have left another trail to follow. Hold on, Boomer. We're coming. Yeah! You can ride one of- Can you pick up any tracks? There. Looks like she headed towards the hills. Well, let's go. There's some kind of wreck up on that cliff. How did Boomer get up there? Uh, broken ladder. Must have collapsed as Boomer was climbing. So how are we going to get up there? This way. Right. Scaling a big old cliff. What was this place? I don't know. It looks abandoned. A shelter. And some kind of device. From Boomer? Looks like some of the components were stripped. She must have brought it up here to tinker after the machines moved into her camp back at the ruin. But where could she have gone from here? That wreck down there looks promising. Well, if there's one thing I know about Boomer, is that she can't resist a shiny pile of salvage. Come on, let's go down and check it out. What do you think Boomer was working on? Probably nothing. She just likes to tinker. Can't ever seem to keep her hands still. Trust me, I've tried. Just turned into something tasty. Hey, look there. At the base of the wreck. Tools. Bet she found another spot to tinker. Let's take a closer look. Uh, 
Yeah, she was working on something here, all right. But where? Oh, oh. Boomer? Gotta finish this. Boomer! What are you doing? Too late. Boomer, what did you do? Time for some action. Never mind that now. Here they come! Hey, Boomer? Yes? Your sister was really worried about you. Look, I know you must still be angry, but you can't run off into the desert like that. I didn't run. And I'm not angry. Y you're not? No. Why would I be angry? Be because of our fight. Be because you ran away. I didn't run. W well, you left me. I'd never leave you. You're my sister. I had an idea, so I went to find the parts. See? A weapon. This is just the payload carrier. The real secret are the boom discs. Throw one at a machine, slice and dice, and then it comes back until you throw it enough times, and then it goes boom. At least it's supposed to. I can't get it to come back. Uh, here, let me see. That's why the pin here's off. Just needs a little cable around here. Done. Here, Red. Give it a try. No, wait. Try it on the big machine. This way. And there she goes. So you really didn't leave because of our fight? No. But you left camp without telling me. You were sleeping. Why didn't you wake me? You said you didn't want to talk until the morning. Well, yeah, but I meant about... <laughs> I didn't mean literally. find your way to that old ruin. I saw it when we left Camp Nowhere. And you remembered how to get there? Yep. So what's this big machine we're after? You'll see. It's 
just down there. Could be useful if I time it right. Nothing here. Just watch. Ta da! You hang up here. Show me. Make it go boom! Did you see all those sparks when it went down? Oh, I did. Red, over here. Bursting sparks, flying metal, ba-boom! You okay? Ever since we left the claim, I figured I could just hammer it into her head to quit it with the explosions. Everything would be better. And after your fight, you thought you lost her because you were too hard on her. Turns out I was wrong about that, too. She doesn't see the world like I do. Where I see a problem, she sees a way to blast through it. And I guess that's okay. I wouldn't have gotten her back without you, Red. Boomer's lucky to have you. As for the weapon, keep it. As thanks. You ready to head home? I think I just got a new idea for a prototype we can work on. With explosions? Oh, you bet. Yes!
Oh, this will really boil their broth. I'll add a sprinkle of chili to their desserts. How perverse. to Jerome Faranya, thank you for the like. Come for another round. I thought you'd be back in Freeheap. Well, after the big battle at Meridian, I went back. But realized it was running smooth. Didn't need me. Heard about the rebuilding out at Baron Light. Figured they could use another hammer. And thanks to your handiwork, I got my hands full getting this place into shape. I guess you found the right place. Guess I did. Hey, I'm looking for an Osram named Marsa. She might be working here in Chainscrape. Do you know her? Marsa? <laughs> yeah, of course. Tough gal. Puts her back into her work. Not like the drunken louts around here. Why are you looking for her? I met her brother out west. He asked me to return a family heirloom to her. Huh. I didn't know Marsa had a brother. Anyway, last I heard, she was doing a job out by those old Karja signal towers. Northeast to here. Thanks. Hmm. Ostrom family squabbles ain't pretty. Best of luck wading into that muck. The concession decree Olven wanted, what was it exactly? And how would it have helped him? Big old pig diddle, that's what. A writ that would have put all Osram claims in the... Even though they're on cars, it would have meant that Stone and... T no more would claim to pour... And since Olven, it would have made him rich, not to mention chains. So he could have bought enough votes to call himself a... He's a sly old badger, I'll give him that. Almost got away with it, too. I have to go. It was good to see you again, Petra. And you, Flame Hair. Don't be a stranger. Petra said Portive's sister should be working around here. I have a feeling she won't be thrilled to hear from her brother. But at least she'll get her lockbox back. Morsa? Yeah? What's it to- Oh! The Normie? How do you know my name? I, uh, met your brother Porgif out west. He asked me to give you this. Mama's lockbox. That miserable chuff stole this from me. By the forge, he broke the lock too. Uh, actually, that was from a rock breaker. Oh, so he's dead then? No, uh, after he saw what was inside, he 
wanted you to have it. Oh, then I guess guilt finally caught up with him. Let's see here. A jewel. <laughs> Surprised he didn't pocket it for himself. And a letter. It's from my mom. Her last wish was that I make amends with Porgov. That doesn't make sense. Porgov caused her all the family so much grief. Always running off to chase easy shards instead of helping dad at the forge. Why would I want him back in my life? If Porgov read that letter, then maybe he wants to make amends too. He also asked me to tell you that he remembers the flying keg. When we were kids, we used to grab a metal panel and slide down this big hill. But one day, Porgoth got the idea to use an old keg. He climbed inside and off he went. Only, he didn't stop at the bottom of the hill. That keg kept rolling with Porgoth still inside, right off a ledge. You'd think the keg sprouted wings the way it soared. Then splash, right into the lake. Thought he drowned for sure, but he lugged himself out onto the shore and shouted, again! Sounds like a good memory. <laughs> Think that might be the only time I can remember us not fighting. Just lying there by the lake, laughing till it hurt to breathe. When you met my brother, did he look okay? As well as you can expect for someone out in the middle of the desert. You could see for yourself? Nah. I mean... I heard some folks are headed out that way, but I don't know. I'll think about it. Thank you for bringing me this. Here, for your troubles. Thank you. If you decide to go, you'll find your brother at a place called Camp Nowhere. Of course he'd end up nowhere. Thank you again for returning my ma's lockbox. She hand carved it, you know. So the Boom Sisters wandered back into camp. I knew sending you out there was a solid bet. And now, they have a new project to set their minds to. What did you do? Just a simple investment to protect my other investments. Mutually profitable, mind you. A good shardsman knows how to turn impending disaster into opportunity. And speaking of shards, you here to buy something?
Good fortunes to you. See you later, Abedant. What if we buried them in the sand? Boom traps. But then we might blow up everyone, not just the machines. Hmm. What are you two working on? Red! We're making boom plans. Ah, oh, we struck a deal with Abaddon when we got back. Turns out this place is gonna need some security for all those machines out there. And when he heard how Boomer's invention helped you take down the vanishing dread, we convinced him we were right for the job. Now we just gotta figure out how we're gonna keep the machines away without blowing everyone sky high. Not everyone. The flying ones are already in the sky. Sounds like you both have a lot of work ahead of you. And a place to call home. Home of the Boomworks. Yeah, we're gonna have to work on that name. I don't have to swim down. giant statue that Stemmer mentioned. The ruins should be nearby.
A ruin beside a metal tower. The gizmo stemmers after should be inside. An image from the old world. Looks like part of the city inside the dome. The image was taken from somewhere above ground level. Maybe there used to be a bridge around here?
Maybe I'm too low to light up the image? Image was taken from somewhere above ground level. Maybe there used to be a bridge around here. be too low to line up the image. Uh, pack's full, but my stash has one. the city from this overhang. Yeah, I should try to line up the image here.
Well, this looks like the place. No borrowers, though. And that must be the statue. Okay, I gotta find a way up there. The vent. There's a crate in that room. But how to get to it? This could be useful. Okay, gotta get higher up to reach the statue. to get the burner. Ah. Huh. Made it. 
Whoa! Well, I got the burner. Better take it back to Moreland. Burners. Might have been the ones that attacked Moreland. Gizmo. There. That must be the gizmo. Looks like this door needs a code to open. I should check around the ruin. See if I can find anything that might help. What's in here? Oh. So the gizmo is actually called an ornament. I found one of these in another room. It sounds like there are more out there. And it looks like there's part of a code. Might be for the door. I better keep looking around. Maybe I can find the rest of it. lead to another part of the ruin, but I'll get to it.
There's an opening at the top of the fence. Could be a way in, if I can find a way to get up there. Those crates could help me reach the opening at the top of the fence. the opening. I need to find a way to stack the crates. the opening now. Made it. I won't budge from this side. 